Bismillah. We'll start with our lesson, Salaf Lil Mubtadi'een, where we'll go through the fifth scale, the five letter scales, and the six letter scales. And inshallah, with that, we will have completed the past tense of this book. Inshallah. So we'll start with the five letter verbs. Uzan al Mali al Khumasi, the five letter verbs. He says, It is that which has five letters. Okay, so we mentioned for the three letter verbs, how many were there? There were three. Those were? Fa'ala, Fa'ila, and Fa'ula. And then the, for the four letter verbs, there was how many? There were three? Four. Who remembers them? Gun. Fa'ala. Fa'ala. Af'ala. And last one? You said all four. Okay. For the five letter verbs, we have six. All of them containing five letters. We have infa'ala. We have ifta'ala. We have if'alla. Tafa'ala, Tafa'ala, Tafa'ala. Those are the six. Okay? So if you go through the translation for each one, we have Inkasara here. Inkasara is to break. To break. Now if you go to the root verb, we have, where's the root? Kasara. Now Kasara, you are doing the action of breaking. So if I say kasartu, I'm going to go through it soon in the other slides as well. If I say kasartu al-qalama, I broke the pen. But if I say in kasar al-qalama, the pen broke. Is understood? Okay. In qata'a is to cut. In hadama to collapse. In harafa is to deviate. And in qasama is to divide. Have you all in that? Have I missed any? To collapse. Okay, so let's go through the others. We have the other scale, ifta'ala. Ifta'ala. You have ishtagala to work. To work, work here. Yeah. I'tasama to hold on. Ikhtalafa is to differ. Ikhtalafa is to differ. If you need me to repeat any verb, please, you have to specify specifically which one I need to repeat. In kasara is to break. In qata'a to cut. In tahama is to collapse. In harafa means to deviate. In qasama is to divide. Ishtagala to work. I'tasama to hold on. Ikhtalafa to differ. Then we have ibtada'a is to innovate. Someone innovates. To innovate. 
and ishtahara is to become famous to become famous for the other scale the third one if Allah this is for colors so ibyadda is to turn white iswadda is to turn black so if you know the colors this will be easy ibyadda to turn white iswadda to turn black extremely black ihmarra to turn red isfarra to turn yellow ikhdarra to turn green so again ibyadda to turn white iswadda to turn black ihmarra to turn red isfarra to turn yellow ikhdarra to turn green Then we'll move on to the scale. Tafa'ala. Uh, Tafa'ala, we have ta'allama, is to learn. Ta'allama, is to learn. Tafaqaha, is to understand. Tabassama, is to smile. Tabassama is to smile. Taharraka is to move. And ta'amala, ta'amala is to contemplate. So going through it again. Ta'allama is to learn. Tafaqqaha is to understand. Tabassama to smile. Taharraka to move, ta'amala to contemplate. Should we move on? Now we have the fifth scale. Tafa'ala. Tanasara is to help one another. So tanasara is to help one another. Tahasada is to envy one another. To envy one another. Tabagada to hate one another. Then we have Tabadala to exchange with one another. Ta'arafa is to know one another. So if everyone needs to know any scale or any word that I need to repeat, let me know. Uh, the first skill, I got that one to break. Inqata? Mm, to cut. To cut. Inhadama. To collapse. Mm -hmm. To collapse? Yeah, collapse. In harafa to deviate. In qasama to divide. So last one. Tafa'lala. Tatalmada. To study under. Tadahraja. Is to roll. We have to roll. Tazahlaqa is to slip or slide. Tazabzaba is to be hesitant. You hesitate. And takahraba is to get electrocuted to get electrocuted so these are a lot of verbs that we've taken it's not a must to memorize all of them as long as you know how to conjugate and understand the concepts and you can take that from 
you need in your everyday conversation. So Tanbih, he mentions, خَمْسَةٌ مِنْ هَذِهِ الْأَوْزَانِ مَزِيدُ الثَّلَاثِ بِحَرْفَيْنِ That five of these six verbs are an increase from the three letters with two letters. وَالسَّادِسْ مَزِيدُ الرُّبَاعِ بِحَرْفٍ واحد. And the sixth one is an increase with one letter. Who knows which of the five are increased from the three letters and which one is an increase from the one letter. So we have six letters, six scales here. He said five of them are an increase from the three letters, the three letter roots, with two letters increased. And this one of them is an increase from the four letter root with one letter increased. That's what he mentioned here in the first time B. So if you look at in fa'ala, we have the root fa'ala. Increased by two in. Then look at the other one. If ta'ala, we have fa'ala increased with a. And the last one, yes. The last one is the one. We'll go through all of it. If ta'ala is being increased by the elf and the ta. If Allah was being increased by. And the extra lam at the end. Tafa'ala. An extra ain and the ta. Tafa'ala increased by the alif and the ta. Then we have the last one, which is a roba'i, increased by a ta. Fa'lala. Do you remember fa'lala? Yes. In the second tanbih, he said, Thalathatun min hadhi al-awzan mabdu'atun bi hamzati al-wasl. Five of these are... No, Thalathatun min hadhi al-awzan mabdu'atun bi hamzati al-wasl. Three of these begin with a hamza to wasl wa thalathatun minha mabdu'atun bitta and then he mentioned the other three begin with a ta so three begin with a hamza to wasl three begin with a ta why is it important to know? because when something comes before the hamza to wasl you don't pronounce it some people they think that it's a hamza to qata so then they pronounce it so they'll say an one kasara, wa in kasara, like that. Okay, we'll go to the next page. Now we'll do the first scale. We have in fa'ala. In fa'ala. So sometimes these these scales, once it's increased, it might have a completely different meaning to its root. So now, if you look at talaqa, to be freed. If we take it to a scale, in fa'ala, we get in talaqa, which means to proceed or depart. So now the, the meaning has completely changed. In other times, it becomes a intransitive verb. So here we have kasara, to break. Kasara is to break. On the scale in fa'ala, we have in kasara, to be broken. To be broken. So now I'll give an example here. Kasarta zujaja is meant to be kasartu here, but kasarta zujaja, the meaning is now, the translation is wrong here, but what's the real meaning? Kasarta. You broke. You broke the glass. If I say in kasara zujaju, what am I saying? The glass broke. The glass broke. Okay, going back. So what is the difference between a intransitive and transitive verb? With a transitive verb, you'll see that there is an, a do of the action and an object. For example, kasartu, I broke, azujaja, the thing that I broke. But if I say in kasar azujaju, the object now here is the one that the, the action, that's doing the action of breaking. In kasara as zujaju. We have qata'a. You can also say that is to cut. Qata'a is to cut. If I say in qata'a, the thing is cut. 
Understood. So the transitive is something, for example, you have the doer of the action, the thing that the action is landing upon. More examples will come. And then we have intransitive, the thing that the action landing upon, if it comes on this scale, is more than enough. So if I say in kasara zujaju, the thing that broke. The thing that's broke in the first, the first example is the doer of the, of the second example. The thing that action is landing upon. Yeah, yeah. I'll say kasara Muhammadun al qalama. Muhammad and qalam. But here I can say in kasara al qalam. That's enough. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do the tasrif of the first verb in fa'ala. Okay? Um, whoever wants the translation of the verbs, I'll give it to you quickly. In sarafa is to depart. In ghalaqa is to close. In talaqa is to start. In fasala, to separate. In qalaba, is to turn. Fahimtum? Fahimtum. Hal fahimtum? That's not good enough. Naam. Fahimtum? Fahimna. Okay, let's start the first one. Conjugate in groups. Yeah, in groups. Just like last week, we're going to conjugate each one. So I'll give the translation for the second scale. If ta'ala. If ta'ala we have Igtasala is to wash or shower. Igtasala. Then you have Igtasama to take cover. Ihtasaba to calculate. Ihtalafa to differ. Imtahana is to examine. To wash or shower. To take cover. To calculate. To differ. And the last one is to examine. Okay, we'll continue to the next scale. We have the scale if Allah. If Allah. The scale is used for colors and defects. So all the scales they use will come in a different book. What each scale is used for. This one, if Allah, is used for colors and defects. Colors and defects. So we have idhamma to be black. Ihmarra to be red. Red to be red. The color red, to be color red. I'm going to do this example there. It hammer to be black. Also, it's what the ikhdarra to become green, 
to become green. First wants to be black, second wants to be red, the third wants to be green. Is warra. Now is the one for defects to be cross eyed. And is marra to be brown. Then we have the example the brother asked, how do you use the example? Here's an example in the book of Allah. فَأَمَّا الَّذِينَ إِسْوَدَّتْ وُجُوهُهُمْ As for those whose face becomes black. إِسْوَدَّتْ What scale is that on? إِفْعَلْ إِفْعَلَّتْ تفضل. Let's try to conjugate. One each. You do one and your partner does one. So these scales are used for colors, mainly for colors and defects. So the next scale we're going through is Tafa'ala. Tafa'ala. Here, this scale, the action relates back to the doer. The action relates back to the doer. For example, Allama, we've already taken Allama on the scale. Fa'ala is to teach. Allama is to teach. You're doing the teaching. Ta'allama. You're now learning. So, Allama is to teach. Ta'allama is to learn. Generally, the scale, this will go back to the one that's doing the action. We've added a ta. Nam. We've added an, an ayn as well. Tafa'ala, ta'allama is to learn. Farraqa is to separate. Tafarraqa here is to become separated. Fassaha to make space. Tafassaha to become spacious. So here we have the scale that we took last week and the one that we're taking now in one hadith. The famous hadith of Uthman where he says, Khayrukum, the best of you, man ta'allam al Qur'ana wa allamahu. The best of you is the one ta'allama. What are you doing? Ta'allama. To learn. Then what does he do? Allamahu. That who is going back to the Quran. This who at the end. Allamahu. So he learns the Quran. Ta'allama. Then wa allamahu. Then he teaches it. Okay. So let's go and write the definition or the translation of the verbs here. We have tawakkala. You can guess tawakkala. To trust or have reliance. Takallama. To speak. Tafarraqa to separate. So tawakkala to trust. Takallama to speak. Tafarraqa to separate. Some of these are obvious. Tasaddaqa to give charity, yes. What about tadabbara? You can guess what tadabbara means. Yes, to contemplate or reflect. And after this, we're going to take the sixth scale as well. So we have two more scales after this. So let's move on to the next scale. We have Tafa'ala. Tafa'ala. Generally, the words on this scale show an action being done with another person or group. You're doing this with another person or group. For example, haraba is to fight. Taharaba is to fight one another. And then I'll say, awana to help. Taawana to help one another. So you see that the action is being done 
as a group. So now if we were to take the verbs that we have here, we have how many? Okay, so try conjugate five of these. Excuse me. Conjugate the first two. Take one each. We'll take the translation for these verbs. Tanaqasha means to compensate or discuss. Tasamaha to tolerate. Tasharaka. To participate, to participate, to thakara, to consult, to consult someone, to sabaka, to compete. Okay, so let's con conjugate the last one. Tafa'lala. Tafa'lala. Pardon? Tafa'lala. This is the raba'i. With the increase of the ta. You have tamadmada. What does that mean? Tamad. Yes. It is when you rinse your mouth. Tamadmada. Taqalqala to be agitated. To you know to rinse your mouth. To be agitated, second one. Tajawraba to put on socks, to wear socks. No, the first one, Tamad Mother. Then you have to be agitated. Third one's to wear socks. Tasarwala, to wear trousers. Tasarbala, to wear garment. So to rinse your mouth, to be agitated. To wear socks, to wear trousers, to wear a garment. Let's conjugate. To the next one. That we've completed the five letter scales. Now we'll go on to a sudasi, the six letters. A sudasi. So for the six letters, it's obviously that which has six letters in the scale. How many does he give us? He gives us six here. However, he says that at the bottom, he says that since we're beginners, we'll do the first one. It's tafala due to um, its frequent use. And just to make it easy on the student. So if we go to the next slide, we have the scale is staf'ala. So istaf'ala, the main characteristics of this form is that it's used to seek something. You're asking something or demanding something. Okay, so let's look at the root and then let's look at the scale. So we have ghafara. Ghafara means to, to pardon. Ghafara means to pardon. Istaghfara means to ask for pardoning. We've added ista at the beginning. Ista at the beginning. So ghafara is to pardon. Istaghfara is to seek that pardoning. Adina is to permit. 
istadhana is to seek permission you are asking for permission nasara to help istansara is to seek help now do you see the difference when it comes to this girl you're, you're seeking something adina adina is to permit something but if you bring on this girl you're seeking permission So before, let's try conjugate. Um, let's quickly go through the translation. Istaftaha is to begin something. Istamala to use something. Yeah, istamala is to use. Istas gara is to deem something to be small. Istan qada is to save something. Istanafa is to resume something. You resume something. They pause. You resume. We're going to go back to a scale that we did last week. That's how I was going to explain it. The scale fa'ala. So this scale here, fa'ala, it can be used. Used for an action that is done on a large scale or repeatedly. Okay? So we have qatala. Qatala meaning to kill. If I say qatala al mujarrimu rajulan, the criminal killed a man. If I now put on a scale, fa'ala, qattala, qattala al-mujarrimu ahla al-qura, the criminal massacred the people of the village. So he massacred the people of the village. We've taken it from fa'ala to fa'ala. We have adda, is to count. Adda al-rajulu amalahu, the man counted his money. When the Quran comes, alladhi jama'a, what does jama'a mean? To gather, الذي جمع ماله وعدده the one who counts his wealth or who collects wealth and he continuously counts it. He counts it over and over again. That's one. Then we have another one, an intensive action that is done at once but with great force. So we have كسرتُ الكوبة. If I say كسرتُ الكوبة, I broke the, the 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 cup or glass. If it goes on the first فعل كسرتُ الكوبة I smashed it You smashed it, you done it with great force at once قطعتُ الحبلة I cut the rope If I put on other scale قطعتُ الحبلة I cut it to pieces So you have it being done repeatedly Or you have it done once with great force And the last slide So we take us a, bun- a benefit here. Uh, the statement of Allah: "Nazzal alayk al kitab bil haq musaddiqan lima bayna yadehi wa anzal al Torah wa al Injil." I'll give you a couple of seconds to read the translation here and look at the difference between he sent down and he sent down. It comes twice, but it comes with two different verbs. What are the two verbs we used here? Okay. Is there a difference here in the translation? No, no, no. Look at the difference in the translation here. Here we have the tafsir of Al Baghavi. He says, "Inna ma qal." He only said, "Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, who anzal the Torah and the Injil, because the Torah and the Injil anzal a jumla wahida." That he said. The he said he sent down the Torah and Injil because the Torah and Injil were revealed 
in a single revelation. In a single revelation. وقال في القرآن and he said in the Quran نزل لأنه نزل مفصلا والتنزيل للتكثير. That he said the the Quran was he used نزل because it implies repetition because he sent it down in pieces and there were many revelations. You see now here نزل then you have أنزل. You don't see the difference in the translation. But when you learn the scales and what each scale applies, you understand the difference. <laughs>